Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Digital DD. I will be doing a review for Neighbors 2, which I saw for my birthday last week, I believe, or two weeks ago now. And I wanted to talk about structure and everything of the film, and this will be a spoiler-free review. Just FYI, I thought I would just do a really quick one for Neighbors 2, and so I can move on to my X-Men review, which will be a lot more extensive. And yeah, so let's look at this really fun film that we saw, or you saw. Neighbors, the first one anyways, was a fun, fun romp. And so I thought I would give Neighbors 2 a chance, because I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest. The film overall was an entertaining film, definitely, for sure, without a doubt. Um, there's not many Seth Rogen films that I would say aren't entertaining. For me, one of the least entertaining Seth Rogen films would be Knocked Up, only because it was really depressing to me. Like, it was a very depressing film, Judd Apatow. This film was extremely fun and extremely feminist, shockingly enough. Probably one of the most feminist films I've seen in quite a while, and it was very, very shocking. The structure was super nice. There were two main storylines and one sort of storyline, Zac Efron storyline. The main ones were sorority sisters and husband and wife um, living next to these sorority girls. Kind of parallels to the first movie. This one was, I think, a little, I, I would almost go to say is a little bit more structured. I would say more fun for sure. The characters were great. I thought each sorority girl had a wonderful, unique quality to them. Each girl had fun clothes. That's, I mean, that's not a character trait, but that goes with the design. It absolutely brought out each character's individuality. Seth Rogen's character, <laughs> always great. He is extremely fleshed out. His wife is played by Rose Byron. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is wonderful to really, really fun in this film. She is a standout character. Her baby, 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 baby daughter is adorable and fun and the two friends are pretty fleshed out. They're kind of like background characters, but they bring interesting dynamic to the story for sure. And Zac Efron's character is extremely fleshed out as well. He's super duper fun, brings an interesting dynamic to the movie, same as the first one. He was scheming, and but then he was sweet and kind and weirdly okay with a lot of stuff that I didn't think he would be. Especially the feminist side to this film, which I was so excited to see. The storyline was super duper duper fun. Uh, it does examine that sororities aren't allowed to throw parties in their like own houses and things in the United States. Like this is actually like a law. Which is insane, and they kind of explored that. They explored feminism and becoming a parent and trying to sell a house, which is really, really difficult. I promise selling a house is so hard, especially in certain markets. And it also explored life beyond college and not knowing what you want to do and feeling like all of your friends have it figured out and you don't. So that might ring true to a lot of people. The designs to these movies, Neighbors 1 and Neighbors 2, are very, very similar. The costumes are great. They speak to each character, of course, bringing out each quality and, and weird quirk that they have. There is a one particular scene that they're at a tailgate. The color scheme to that scene in particular stands out to me. Um, I won't say any more about that, but um, it's a very, very exciting scene. The director, Nicholas Stoller, has a very clear vision of this film. Comedies generally have a very clear vision to them. If they don't, it kind of can go all over the place. I can think of a few right now. But this comedy was very, very clear. And I can say that this is one of my, I would say, in the top three of my favorite Seth Rogen films. This one, The Night Before, which I really loved and I didn't think I would. And I desperately want it on DVD. And this is the end. This film was extremely entertaining. It was fun. There were so many genuine laughs that came out of me. It wasn't just like a chuckle. It was an extremely sincere laugh. I would not say it is fun for the whole family, and I wouldn't say that people who are terrified of throw up should watch the film. I mean, you can go and see it, but you're gonna need a minute at the very beginning of the film. I will warn you that there is a tiny bit of vom at the very beginning, just uh, heads up for you. I would absolutely recommend this film to friends and family or whomever that would like to see it. I would give this film 9.0 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it. When I left the film, I was still like laughing and thinking about like each funny thing that happened in the film. So absolutely, 9.0 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this really quick review for Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. Let me know down below in the comment section which film that you would like me to review. I could also start reviewing some older films 
Uh, do you like a nostalgia review sort of situation or like a throwback Thursday of reviews? Ooh, that might be fun. And please hit that subscribe button and like button to check out more stuff that I've got going on. And I will see you, maybe, in the next movie. I will be at the theaters, most likely on opening night, because that's how it always is. And I will see you there. And support movies, because they are very, very important. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you'd like to hear me talk about movie reviews or hang out with me and listen about health and beauty and sketches that come into my brain or watch me play a game or two, then please stick around and press that subscribe button. Oh, that's not like crap.